Hi everyone, this is Kai from WCC, and today we are looking at a deck that embodies our memes and dreams, Blaster Gizeh. Now when you think of Gizeh, the main strategies that it wants to do is to deny damage so that your opponent cannot do anything, then ping your opponent for 5 damage and kill him either in 1 or 2 turns while sitting on a 30,000 power body. One of the most effective ways of denying damage is to just not attack, or attack in such a way that will not hit. However, the other way to deny damage is to deal a lethal attack, and with the new Messianic Lord Blaster, every attack can be a lethal attack. We'll quickly go through the deck first before talking about some gimmicks with this deck. Firstly, you might see that a lot of these cards aren't being run in a playset, that is because we're trying to cram as many different blasters as we can in the deck to fulfill Messianic Lord Blaster's condition. For the triggers, we're running 6 crit and 6 draw. The crits are rather important because we do want some guard for this deck. Interestingly enough, we can also crit out our opponents if we cannot deny damage. We're also running 4 V heals as having the solid 20k guard is important in this current metagame. For the current grade ones, we have Blaster Laura, Bargle, Javelin, and Dagger. We're running two Stride Fodder and one Grade One Perfect Guard. For the Grade Twos, we're running Blaster Blade, Blaster Blade Secret Seeker, the Spirit, Arrow, and Rapier, and three Blaster Darks. The Blaster Darks are nice because riding and getting the Twin Drive is really good. It gets that extra drive because that's what we want to do. We get as many drives and triggers as we can. And the Rapiers are also good because it allows for that top deck check. The only play sets that we're actually running in this deck is Messianic Lord Blaster and Blaster Blade Exceed. We'd rather ride the Messianic Lord Blaster for our meme plays. But the Blaster Blade Exceed will allow us to continuously stride without caring for the cost and is an easy way to get your ultimate stride. Lastly, we have one copy of the old Majesty Lord Blaster because it is simply another name, Blaster, but to round out our gimmick quota, it will allow us to deny damage against 11 case base vanguards like Anji and Luar. For our strides, we have five different zero dragons, as well as two Ganslots and two Alfreds. Our G guards are pretty standard, but we run one Colburn for that extra guard power, and one Medu to just when you stride on top of Majesty, you just get a free stride pretty much. But this can be replaced with anything that you just like. You can just run Sea Breeze or anything you want. Uh, one interesting thing for Assault. Since you're playing out your field for Messianic Lord Blaster, that G-Guard actually becomes somewhat relevant and gets pretty fat, so that's why we're running that. So let's talk a bit about the gimmicks that this deck can do. So we have our normal play where you just ride Messianic Lord Blaster after denying damage. Then your opponent is unable to guard and they randomly take 6 damage. It happens. You sometimes don't even play out a full field and just drive check and you get those two blasters and just win the game. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes your opponent just doesn't draw cards to guard. But if you're against a good player who doesn't allow you to damage Knight effectively, what can you actually do? You can simply just bash the, like your opponent and not care too much. Sure, it will give them options later on, but there are other ways which will allow you to threaten lethal. As you are running crits, your first tried Ganslot can become a lethal play, as your Gizeh in your G-Zone counts as a card face up in your G-Zone. So your first tried Ganslot will gain a crit. This means that if your opponent is on 2 or 3 damage, they will definitely be inclined to guard. In fact, because of this play, you can actually just replace more of your draws with crits and not feel too bad. The other thing is that with your defensive plays, your G-Guard Marin can call out your G1 Grade 1 Null from your deck which will allow you to cheat some, cheat some mechanics in premium. 
So you can actually just replace your stride fodders with more grade ones to push this idea more because you're also running nine grade threes. So one thing that you can actually do, you can replace your stride fodders with grade one dolls. Then you can just even add more crits and then you're running a crit based Gizeh deck. So the question here is, is this deck competitive? No. I don't really think this deck is amazingly competitive all at all. I think it's around it's around the same tier as Revenge of Gizeh. However, right now the premium meta in English hasn't gotten the raw power of premium collection strides, which means that Giz still has a chance at Gizeing the opponent. When premium collection rolls out and everyone gets their amazing first strides. You'll probably just modify this deck to something like a normal blaster premium deck and just like add twin sword and add back your standard blaster cards. So all in all, this deck is more of a fun deck to mess around in premium because premium is really all about Gizeh, right? Literally everything can be made into Gizeh and this deck is pretty much at the top of any meme Gizeh list you can think of. So I hope you guys all have fun with this deck, or at least have more fun than your opponent, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!